Hello and welcome to episode 15 of Let's Play GTA San Andreas. See, I finally remembered the episode, probably because I just looked at the episode count. But anyway, welcome! Let's do some missions. Let's get into the Zero RC. New model army. Zero? I'm off to engage with destiny, good or bad. What the hell are you talking about now? The hour of judgment is upon me and I must ask myself if I am a sheep or a goat. Carl, will you be my second? Here are some letters. I've left everything to you in case I don't make it. Please. Already own it! What's wrong <laughs> with you, man? We are crossing the Rubicon. I am to engage in battle with Berkeley. At stake, honor, and our very lives. It's funny. I've never noticed before how beautiful this time of year can be. I may never again see Rome in the springtime. <laughs> a butterfly. Come on with all the talking, man. Is you gonna battle Berkeley or what? It's a fight to the death! Come hither! Behold! No man's land. Man, y'all take this shit seriously. Berkeley's headquarters is across no man's land. I'll drive the bandit, you fly the goblin, and help any way you can. If I get the bandit into Berkeley's base, he must leave San Fierro for good. Let battle commence! Okay, great. Actually, I remember the Carl, problem. don't be an idiot. Use the goblin to move that barrel. What the fuck am I doing then? I have a magnet. Why isn't it working? Magnet, fucking work! Fucking magnets, how do they work? Magnet! Carl, I'm blocked! Yeah, I realized that. My fucking magnet wouldn't work. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna fucking destroy you. It's a fucking goblin fight. Okay, maybe not. Oh, there's a tank here. Can I there's another cursed barrel in the way. Oh well, you just have to wait. Destroy this tank. Aha! Move it! Carl, Berkeley's blocked me again. Yeah, yeah, you have to just wait before. God damn it. There we go. Curse you, Berkeley! Carl, move that barrel! Carl, move that obstruction! Carl, I'm blocked! I don't care. Oh, fuck. Okay. There's another cursed barrel in the way. Get a plank from our base and make a bridge across that gap. Whatever. Ah, ceiling. Get me a plank to cross that river. There you go. I'm gonna go get another one. Berkeley's using tanks. Carl, grab a bomb and get rid of any tanks that threaten our progress. Meh. I'm just drop barrels on them. Fuck them. Maybe a few planks. And I didn't see any more tanks. Well, he's nearing one. Please don't kill me. Oh, there we go. Okay, tank. Yeah, I'll just drop this somewhere here. 
quickly grab a barrel and destroy him no berkeley i mean bandit or berkeley and berkeley is the evil guy come on they're perfect you're gonna die Okay, there should be nothing else preventing him from getting into the base, I think. Oh, except this barrel, of course. <sighs> I'm gonna go chill in his base. Over here, okay, the bandit is in. Ha <laughs> ha! Ha! Berkeley, you, sir, are a loser. Leave the field of battle in shame, pack up your crummy mail-order business, and get out of my town! Carl, you were all a duelist like me could want in a second. Sir, I salute you. Yeah, thank you. Seven thousand, nice! No. All right, so that's done with zero missions. Now the only thing we have is uh, the dragon sign. Let's go to the dragon since I don't get a phone call or anything. Oh no, there it is. Hey Caesar, the yay leaving San Fierro, right? Right, but they're using bikes, CJ, and they go cross country. No thanks. Not right now. I gotta check into some shit. CJ. Oh no. You got it? Hey, my cousin just called me. He gave me a tip about a baller's car going to San Fierro to score yay. Shit. We gotta find out who's supplying those cats. Read your mind, Holmes. I picked them up at the Maholan intersection, and I'm trailing them now. Ooh, nice car. Only problem with screen. Alright, where am I supposed to go now? Where are you, Caesar? Okay. I know where to go. And why I was. Speaking of why I was scared uh, at the beginning of the episode, where the fuck? Oh, okay. Yeah, speaking of why I was scared at the beginning of the episode, is because uh, it's a photo opportunity. It means I might need to take pictures. Which, of course, means the game gonna crash, probably. Which is, uh, not good. Not good for anyone. Hey, Caesar. Which road do I fall? Huh? Oh, okay. Man. 
So it doesn't make me use the photo camera. Oh no, it's it looks like it might be fine. Is the icon is showing? God, I hope it's fine. There it is, Hans. Right. Right. You sherm head. This business is bigger than any gang has said. Right, little bitch. This guy take himself real serious. That's T-Bone Mendez. What now? Is that it? Ah, uh, another guy. Hey, who's the gringo? I don't like the look of that guy. This more than a few thugs pushing product. It's a serious organization. Mm-hmm. Another guy. How many of these clowns are there? Ah, uh, I know a pimp when I see one. They being clever about this. It ain't no exchange of nothing incriminating. Okay, so we have some sort of evidence now. What does it all that mean? That's some heavy shit. We better split up and get out of here. I'll meet you back at the garage, eh? Coolio, we Why? Got what we came for anyway. Why do we have to split up? You just you could take me back, would you? Why didn't you take me with you? <sighs> right, now I have to get out of here. Okay, let's do this one last mission, I guess. Jizzy. Hey, hey, man, you get them flicks developed? What's up, woozy? Hey, Carl. I was just explaining to your brother-in-law that we were friends. Oh, yeah? Well, look, woozy, I need to get some info from you, man. What exactly do you boys want to know? Who are these putas, Holmes? Why don't you go take a look? These guys? Yeah. They're the loco syndicate. They're pretty big time, I think. Don't have any dealings with them. We don't touch blow. Now, this guy runs things. I don't know his name. This guy is T-Bone Mendez. He's the muscle. And who's that guy? That's Jizzy B. He's the biggest pimp in town. He helps set up the deals. You know, uh, concierge of sorts. Hey, did he my way in? How I get to him? Oh, Jizzy? Jizzy runs the Pleasure Domes Club in that old fortress under the Gamp Bridge. Hey, good looking out, Woozy. No problem. Don't be a stranger. All right. Thanks, Woozy. Okay. I need a vehicle. Probably a sturdy one. Like this one. God damn it. Fuck you, cars. I bet fucking Rockstar program programmed it intentionally that whenever I'm going high speed just fucking every car takes a turn in the next intersection why not I'm here probably should have gotten armor but whatever Jizze see baby I got everything mink sheets mink coats mink curtains in the wind when I walk down the stairs I'm walking down on mink car now who's this trick? I don't need no more friends, baby. All they try to do is peel me from my hole. Nah, nah, it ain't about them. It's all about you, player. I heard you was the man with the hookup, and you was the man I needed to see. I'm offering my services. Say what? Yes, sir. See, I'm new in town. Anything you want, I can do. For a guy like me to work with, to work for, a guy like Jizzy B? Well, well, now that you mention it, I do have a slight problem. Something a little dumb muscle like yourself might be able to fix. Because you see me, <laughs> I'm intellectual. <clears throat> Bitches, y'all walk on down to the bar and fix a pimp a drink. Mm, mm, mm. See, I only got two eyes, and in these streets, you got to have more than that. You got to be like a flying shit, you know? A hundred eyes everywhere. 
Now some lunatic been fucking with my bitches. Motherfucker killed two last week. I want you to go find out. No problem. You my player partner now, Jizzy. Them polygons. Wait up, mm -mm. Mr. C to the J. See that pretty young thing in my car? Drop her off at the hotel downtown. Use my car phone and give me a ring a ding when you're done. And watch the rims, player. Treat that baby like the Pope mobile. Ring a ding, ding, ring a ding, a ding, a ding. Oh, for fuck's sake! You see what I'm talking about? As if she wanted to go there. If she, she did, as if she needed to go there. She probably just tell me, oh, this guy is going fucking fast. I shouldn't probably get in his way. Or should I? Later, Hey, Jizzy, it's Carl. I just dropped off your girl. Chuck, got a little errand for you to remember before you deal with that problem I was just talking about. Some young buck thinks he's a player been trying to peel my holes over in Hashbury. Now one of my girls over there just eyeballed the punk. I want you to get your ass over there and ice that pretend. Damn, they're going fast. Here comes my player. Now you in real trouble. This is my track, sucker. Okay. I never shot anyone with a shotgun. I think. Oh, you dead now. <laughs> That's that sound. Hey, it's CJ. Just to let you know, you don't have to worry about no competition in Hashbury. Worry? Did I say I was worried? No, I did not. Now to the real deal. Some of my girls in the Foster Valley been getting knuckled over. I want you to get your ass up there, nose around. Find out what's going on. All right. I'm like a fucking. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Don't you see me shooting you? <laughs> yeah, he's dead, honey. Uh, I never used the word honey. Because I don't like honey. Mr. Jizzy, a CJ. You're the bad luck charm, Flunky. The girl you dropped off downtown wants out of the game. Her sugar daddy wants to take her off the streets. Nobody turns my hoe. You get your ass back to the hotel and you make an example out of all of them. Great. So do I have to beat some hoes now? That's not what I wanted to do with my day today. But oh well, I mean, it's jizzy. You gotta do stuff for the jizzy, man. Sent me to save your threadbare soul, harlot. Get in the car and remove your filthy vestments so I may better <laughs> gaze upon thy corruption. Driver! What? Get us out of here before the devil's right hand snatches this poor girl from salvation. Right away, your evangelical holiness. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Hi. How are you? We need more than just the Lord's benefaction. <laughs> Don't worry, girl. The Lord's army will be our aid. Okay, didn't expect that to happen that fast. Ah. I'm gonna fucking take them out. Now just what? keep on dressing. What is that sound I keep making? It's not natural. Should stop making it. Alright. Damn, that limo is fat. What the fuck? How did that not even uh, get him off the truck? Okay, slow down, man. Slow down. You're safe. 
Wow. Wow, preacher. Wow, that's just rude. Where are you the fuck? What the fuck? You killed the man, preacher. No, is that normal? Why'd you do that? Please stop yelling random things. Oh, he comes for us. Yes, that is correct. Why are you not reacting to my hit? Okay. Ah, oh. what was that turn? Okay, no more turning, okay? What did I just say? No more turning. Just go straight into a wall now. Fucking cars everywhere. No, don't, don't, don't. Please don't. I'm sorry. Oh, careful, the little bishop, I've heard you already say that. So, I don't know. Gone, foul oh, finally. Everything's been taken care of, Mr. Jizzy. Oh, see, there you used to play his right hand, baby. Oh, and by the way, that car's just come up over on the APB. Dump it, keep it, whatever. Just keep it away from me, my hoes, and my club. Oh, for sure, you got that, man. Ooh, got some respect. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, I gotta go paint it, I guess. Anyway, I think I'm done here. The last three missions? I don't know. To be honest, I don't oh, care, currently. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play GTA San Andreas, and I hope to see you next time, as always. Also, I'm Hervis. You, you should probably remember my name after 15 episodes, goddammit. Anyway, see you later. Bye. Someone's calling me, goddammit. Hey, what's up? Hey, Carl, it's Woozy. Hey, if you got some time, I'd like for you to come over so we can talk about something. Yeah, for sure. Where you at? I own a little betting shop in Chinatown. Just come around and uh, introduce yourself. My people will be expecting a visit. It's a plan, man. Later. Okay, that's done.